Let me describe you a situation and tell me if this sounds familiar. You're working on a project, a really interesting project, one that challenges your ability as a programmer. You know, one of those that comes along every blue moon. You're working, you're working your way through the project, making numerous accomplishments and feeling great. Then all of a sudden, you encounter a bug or a problem that isn't trivial to solve. So you look at it and try your best to solve it. But after digging through Stack Overflow, reading through documentation, and try many possible solutions, hours and hours went by and you're going nowhere. You're stuck at where you were from the start. At this point, you feel helpless, frustrated, and is ready to give up on it. However, your ego as a programmer won't let you give up. There has to be a solution, you thought. So you keep at it, staring at your screen, and before you know it, two more hours has passed. Now your eyes are bloodshot red, and you're feeling nauseous. There seems to be an omen of dark cloud covered over your head. And you tuned out all forms of communication from your co-workers and friends, just because you want to focus on solving this problem before the day is over. The above situation is something almost every programmer has gone through. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it made us question our choice as, as a programmer. I've been there numerous times and they were not pleasant to go through. Thankfully, I have nice co-workers and mentors who were there to give me advice on how we can avoid such things and how we can fix this behavior. I want to pass on this advice in two words. Go outside. Yes, sorry this is a bit of clickbaity title, but it really works. Um, this is the single biggest, strongest advice that I've gotten that helped me throughout the years. Let me explain. When you're stuck in the mindset above, your brain will not be functionally optimal. You're stuck in one way of approaching the problem and you're going through an infinite loop. Solutions do not magically appear that way because your mindset is stuck in the same way of thinking. So let me tell you the benefits of going outside. You get to breathe some fresh air. It's important to get some airflow into your system so you don't stuck indoors in front of your computer. You use your brain for something less, something else besides staring at the screen. This promotes neurons to fire in your brain and it promotes like different connectivity to your brain. And this will also like spark up new, you know, ideas, new center, like new areas in your head that will make you think differently. It also reminds you that you are not your monitor. You are not like there's a world outside of your monitor. This also untangles the aforementioned infinite loop. This is a break statement in real life. Sometimes solution will pop into your head in some of the most unexpected moments. I promise this will happen. And if, as a bonus, if you have a coworker who's willing to walk with you and talk about the thing that you're stuck on, sort of like the rubber duck programming, that'll help too. Although I recommend, you know, not to even think about the problem. Just uh, spend your time uh, with this walk outside to talk about something besides the thing that you're thinking. I want to leave you with a quote from one of from Oscar Dawson. It is that one of the best programming skills you can have is knowing when to walk away for a while. This is advice I take it really seriously and every time in the si I'm in a situation above I went outside and took five minute break. In some cases I just call it a day and don't think about the problem after and come back the next day and look at the problem in a fresh perspective. Uh, new solutions will appear for you and I promise it works. So next time if you're stuck try and see let me see how it works for you. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe our videos, and we really appreciate you viewing our video and our website. See you next time.